to trace the sewing lines, we can actually use this colored fabric tracing papers. And also, we need the tracing wheel. But don't worry, because I will be teaching you some other ways on how to trace the fabric without these tracing papers, as they may not be available in your country. Okay, we will use the orange colored tracing paper. Cut this into half so that I don't waste too much of our tracing paper. Now, I will fold this and start tracing the sewing lines. As you notice, we cut the fabric on the right side. So, I will insert the folded tracing paper inside the wrong side of the fabric, the folded fabric. And I will start tracing the sewing lines. Okay? I'll check if... Uh, I can see the sewing lines. This part, the center part of the fabric, we can make a little snip so we know where the center of the fold is. Now I will be tracing the side seam sewing line. Then I will follow the shape of the fold of the dark lines. Again, I will check if I can see the marks of the sewing lines. I will insert my tracing paper for the dark lines. I will just trace the third and the first dark lines. Then, I will trace this end of the dark line this way so I know where the dark lines really end. Now I will be tracing the armhole curve. Now I will be tracing the shoulder line and the neckline curve. Okay, I can actually also Cut a little snip here to mark the center of the fold of the fabric. Okay, before you remove the pins, it is best to check if you have uh, traced all the sewing lines, including the dark lines. Remember, I promised to teach you how to mark the sewing lines just in case this colored fabric tracing paper is not available in your place. We have to move the pins a little bit outwards. Then, we will follow the zipper line using the L-shaped ruler. Then, we will open our fabric this way with the L-shaped ruler aligned on the zipper allowance line and we will mark the sewing allowances this way we're using a, the tailor's chalk okay now for the hem line since this will be folded so we can again open the fabric this way and with the nail of our index finger mark the folds this way. Both sides have marks. This one doesn't have so I'll mark it. Okay. Now, for the area of the side seam, we can move our pins outwards. Whether we're going in or out, we usually just say out. Anyway, you have a visual perspective of where we are truly going. Now, for the side seam, we can use 
our curve ruler. We will use the curve ruler following the shape of the hip line curve of the side seam. Then, for the rest of the side seam, we can actually use the L-shaped ruler. Okay, there. Since on the waistline, it's a little difficult, but actually we can do it or we can actually mark it using the nail of our index finger to mark the sewing lines for the waistline. Then we can connect all these marks using our curve ruler. Now for the dart lines. Again, we will just use our index finger. I'll open this, remove the pin, and mark where the dart line falls. And also the other dart line. And we will also mark the end of the dart or the end of the dart lines. Maybe I should use a pencil. I can mark it uh, with a cross. Okay. See this? It's a, it's a cross. So you will know where the, dart, the center of the dart line falls and where it ends. So it's the same here. Okay, so I can actually remove uh, the pins and separate this. And for the waistline, I can mark the sewing lines easier without the pins blocking the way. And I will mark the dark lines this way also for this pattern. Well, for the facings, uh, we will not continue as you have seen how the tracing procedure works.